Hi everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today I want to peek ahead into the future a little bit. In my last video, we went over some of the current state of the Division universe, covering delays, unfulfilled expectations, things like that. But ultimately, I ended that video stating that despite the setbacks that we've had, I do genuinely believe that there are some great things and a lot of prosperity ahead for the Division franchise as a whole. And today, I want to elaborate on that a bit more, because while the recent information we've gotten on some of the Division's projects has been rather disheartening, what that subsequently means is that a few very major and important things we're looking forward to are all converging into one timeline, and I believe that is all going to be channeled through Division Day 2024. Should they decide to do it again, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Lots of exciting stuff. If you enjoy extensive Division coverage like this and want to stay up to date with all the latest on the franchise, then consider clicking that subscribe button. It'll make my day, and I promise to keep your notifications tab ringing. Without further ado, let's get into this. So, quick recap in case anyone is unaware, Division Day was an event that occurred back in April of this year, and it was the first of its kind. What it was was a pre-recorded presentation that celebrated both the past of the Division as well as gave major updates and announcements on each of the big projects in the franchise. We got the Year 5 roadmap and learned about new DLC coming to The Division 2. Heartland dropped its cinematic intro trailer and a developer deep dive. We had a new Webtoon series announced. They talked about the new cross-game reward system, announced new physical statues, right? It was a presentation for everything Division. Now, like I said, 2023 was the first time this kind of an event had ever happened, and so while it's not a guarantee that they will decide to continue this trend in the coming years, given its pretty positive reception, I think they will. Or at least I hope they do, because like the title states, if Division Day 2024 does happen, some very interesting and exciting topics are going to be covered, or at least they have the potential to be. Of course, while there are many more major or minor topics that can and likely would be covered in such a presentation, there's three big ones that I think the majority of people will be quite excited for. So, I want to go over each of those right now. Starting with The Division 2's Year 5 Season 4, delivering an all-new DLC package, Seasons 2.0, and an entire endgame redesign. This update was first announced back at Division Day of this year, and ever since, it has been an extremely anticipated content drop for pretty obvious reasons. New campaign, new open-world zones, major endgame changes, new item type coming. I mean, it's exciting stuff. Now, originally, Season 4 would have been slated to release right around March of 2024, which would have meant it might come out before any Division Day event could happen. However, that has since changed, given that a few weeks back, the devs announced that each season for Year 5 would now be four months in duration as opposed to three. Now, we know that Season 2 is set to drop very soon. October 3rd is the likely date, and so doing some quick maths, let's say that Season 2 runs for four months from that date and then Season 3 does the same afterwards. Eight months in total, 32 weeks, that would put us right around late May, early June, which makes it the prime candidate should Division Day take place around April again for this new DLC and in-game redesign to get the spotlight. Now, admittedly, the thought of having to wait that long to get any major information sucks, yeah, but I could 100% see them doing it. I'm sure we'll get little teasers and info bits along the way, like in how the Year 5 Season 1 reveal stream that confirmed that the DLC would be in Brooklyn, but stuff like the DLC's official name, the map size, story premise, Seasons 2.0 details, learning what the new item type is, all of that I could see being dropped at Division Day 2024, and no doubt it would make a huge splash. Additionally, we've yet to hear what the Division 2's plans are after this DLC's launch. Do we get a Year 6? Something else? Nothing at all? Didn't want to make this its whole own section, but I could also see them dropping news on this at that time as well. But it also plays into something else we're going to talk about momentarily, so let's wait on that. So, Season 4 and the DLC is absolutely going to be a big highlight of Division Day 2024, again, should it happen, but thanks to recent news, we can also bank on yet another project being heavily featured, and that is the Division Heartland. Now, the game had its closed beta back in June after heavy promotion of it from this year's Division Day, and despite many signs pointing to a 2023 release, as I covered in several videos, we got an update from Redstorm the other week that the development team is going to be putting their heads down and focusing on development for the remainder of 2023, and that our next update would come in 2024. Now, optimistically, it would be nice to think that that update could come before the March-slash-April time, but realistically, knowing this game? Nah. I'm pretty confident in predicting that, again, if it happens, Heartland's 2024 update will come during Division Day. Now, what they might talk about, it's hard to say. Obviously, we would all like a definitive release date, more full gameplay, that stuff. I think a likely option is that they do another developer trailer kind of detailing exactly what they've been working on, what feedback from the closed beta they decided to dive into, and then maybe we get an announcement for a new beta test next summer. Again, it all seems like a long ways off, but that's kind of what I'm expecting. But yeah, given everything we know, I think Division Heartland will absolutely be one of the core pillars and in the center lineup for Division Day 2024, regardless of what they may choose to talk about or reveal. 
So, new Division 2 DLC, Heartland, those are exciting, they're great, but what if I told you that I think there is a third contender here for this next Division date that would get people more excited than anything else? Yeah, I'm talking about the Division 3. Now, I made a full video not too long ago, I will link it up above as well as in the description if you want the full details, but I'll just point out the highlights and the main evidence pointing to why a Division 3 announcement could be on our horizons. For one, Ubisoft has cited The Division as one of their major pillar IPs that they want to focus on for the years to come, and I think we all know that the biggest thing they could do for The Division here is a Division 3. Additionally, Massive themselves are about to have some big shakeups. Avatar and Star Wars, the two projects that ultimately caused Ubisoft to make the studio shift away from The Division in the first place, both of those games are presumably releasing within the next 12 months. Avatar is locked for this December, Star Wars Outlaws we know is coming in 2024. Avatar has had two DLCs confirmed, kind of UB's traditional formula for titles like Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, etc. Star Wars hasn't yet, although even if it does get announced, I expect they'll be of a very similar nature. Point is, neither of these games are going to be those big multi-year live titles, right? They are single-player, open-world, story-focused experiences, with a definitive endpoint in mind. And so, by this time next year, the vast majority of Massive's 6 to 700 plus employees, they will no longer have these two big projects to be working on. And so the question becomes, what's next? Sequels to either Star Wars or Avatar are certainly possible. They could go for a new IP, but I think you have to acknowledge that The Division 3 is a very serious contender. And in my opinion, it's the most likely. So while I'm not saying it would be coming anytime soon, obviously the development would still take several years. I think Division Day 2024 is where we could get the announcement that, yeah, once Massive wraps these other things up, it's full sails ahead towards The Division 3. This could also allow them to clarify their plans on what happens with The Division 2 in the meantime after the DLC. Do we get a year 6? Does that development team transition into the full Division 3 production? And I think this is very likely why we haven't gotten any kind of post-DLC announcements yet. Compared to back in year 4, year 5 was announced pretty quickly after Season 9 released. So, there you have it. Division 2's new DLC reveal and deep dive, big news drop on the Division Heartland, and an announcement for the Division 3. Should those three things come true in a Division Day 2024, I think that would inarguably make this one of the biggest and most hyped Division events of all time, and would just be an absolute powerhouse of news, reveals, and excitement. Now that begs the question, what happens in these six-ish months until then? Would we just be left high and dry? Can they give us some carrots and teases along the way? I would certainly hope so, but knowing how this franchise has operated for the past many years and knowing how UB likes to handle their reveals and information, I think people can agree with me that a major presentation like this is more likely than anything. And so if it does indeed come true, even taking one of those things out of the equation, Division 3 or Heartland, the fact that we have multiple major projects and announcements looming for the franchise is really inspiring, at least for me. As I've said before, I know the wait sucks, it's going to be a hot minute before we get there, but there's much more coming in the meantime with Seasons 2 and 3 for The Division 2, The Division Resurgence, The New Division Hunted Novel, and so whatever happens at Division Day 2024 and on the road to get there, I'll be here to break it down for you. That wraps up this fun little peek into the future. My friends, very much hope you enjoyed it. And let me know your thoughts. What do you think about our chances of getting a Division Day 2024? And if it is to happen, do you see us getting these three core projects spotlighted or otherwise discussed? Especially The Division 3. I'll be very curious to hear what y'all have to say about that. But that's all I've got. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Rogue Gold, out.